Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm doing another interview. My guest today is an amazing musician. They've appeared in so many things including The X Factor, The Voice in the Philippines and so much more. Hi guys, I'm Alisa Bonaobra and I am uh, The Voice of the Philippines Season 2 first runner-up. Also the X Factor UK Top 11 overall from the Philippines and I'm really grateful that I got to be interviewed by Charlie Wheeler. Uh, thank you so much for coming. So today, obviously, we're going to talk about your music career. And my first question is, when did you first get into the music world? According to my mom, I started singing when I was five years old. And uh, actually, we have a very large family because we are eight siblings. And um, I have 11 cats, five dogs, and two turtles with me. So we are really a huge family. And... Um, from my eldest sister until to my uh, younger youngest brother, my mom told us to sing. And um, I started competing when I was 13 years old, when I was in high school. And uh, since then, the rest is history. Oh, fantastic. It sounds like your early career was amazing. Can you remember kind of like your first audition you ever did? Okay, the first audition that I made is when my teacher um, asked me, to represent our section in an uh, intersection competition so actually that is the first time that I, uh, I compete when I was 13 years old and um, that was I don't know the year but I was 13 years old so <laughs> yeah it's kind of um, really really old and um, that is my first time I got uh, I fell in love with trophies and something shiny and as you can see I love gold that's why my mic is gold right now <laughs> so I, I really really love shiny um, objects oh fantastic it sounds like that was a really cool experience to do so what was it like being on the voice of the Philippines in 2014 the voice of the Philippines is my first ever TV reality competition here in the Philippines and uh, I can still remember that I was um, 18 years old when I joined that competition and uh, it's really uh, it felt really surreal because um, considering that's my first ever competition worldwide and um, nationwide right brother and um, to think that they have millions of auditionees and uh, I ended up as first runner-up so I'm really really thankful and grateful that uh, I got to experience that kind of um, memories and moments in my life. The voice of the Philippines sounds incredible and it's amazing that you got to experience that. So do you have any advice to people who want to get into the music world? Um, regarding with the advice, I really want to say that um, no matter what happened in your life, never ever give up because we don't know what God has planned for us and um, we should really be prepared emotionally, physically, and spiritually if we want to experience the music world because um, I can say that music world is not that easy if you are easily um, distracted. So be prepared for all the obstacles and um, I don't know how, uh, how to say it, but yeah, just be prepared for everything. Yeah, definitely. That's some fantastic advice and thank you for sharing it. Earlier on, you were mentioning that you were on The X Factor in the UK. So what was it like auditioning to be on the show? Um, actually, I auditioned to X Factor. I never told it to my mom because before I auditioned in The X Factor UK, um, I, I unfortunately didn't win in a competition in a competition and um, it got uh, I got depressed I think if that's the uh, right word for that but I got so sad and um, um, the, uh, I don't know how to say it but yeah I sent I sent a video to X Factor UK without um, telling it to my mom and then uh, I didn't take it seriously though because I just edited a video from my YouTube performances just to um, just to send the video for X Factor and I never really consider auditioning there because I never even joined X Factor Philippines because 
um, those times I still uh, I still have that doubt in myself like I can sing but X Factor has to you have to be um, you you need to uh, learn how to perform in stage and um, during those times I don't know if I'm prepared to audition in X Factor UK but I I sent oh uh, I I don't know how to say it but um, I already uh, sent a video and after a month uh, they replied to me and uh, I don't know how to say it to my mom I just gave the phone to my mom and uh, she's really really shocked because she never thought that I will um, think of uh, auditioning to X Factor UK so it's really um, unexpected and uh, with uh, with our plane tickets and everything on where we will stay there in UK it's it's really um, I, I can say that it's really God's will because everything got so uh, like easy and possible for us and even my mom's friends who are uh, now living there in the United Kingdom helped us to um, to produce or to have our tickets um, to go there in the UK and audition for X Factor UK. Oh, that's a lovely audition story and it just sounds like it was like a lovely surprise to your mum and everything and it just overall sounds incredible. So is there anyone you look up to in the music world? I actually look up to Beyonce worldwide, internationally, because Beyonce is Queen B and um, there's no... Uh, there's no... Um, words for that and um, I just want to I really really idolize her because of the way she performs and uh, her vocal ability is so amazing and uh, yeah I really really idolize and uh, Beyonce is my, is my inspiration yeah, she's a great inspiration to have, and yeah, she definitely inspires lots of people I've interviewed, which is amazing. So, in July 2016, you competed for the World Championships of Performing Arts. So, what was that experience like? Because I heard that was in California. Okay, so, um, World Championship of Performing Arts is one of the competitions that I joined before I joined X Factor UK. And um, I got four, four, no, three gold, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused with the medals though. I have three silver medals and one gold for the Philippines and uh, we are actually um, we have a lot of representative for, from the Philippines during that time and I got so uh, blessed because I uh, we that that is the first time that me and my mom um, got to be in uh, Los Angeles, California and uh, we are really, really thankful for that for the people who um, assisted us on that journey. Yeah, definitely. It sounds a really cool journey to go on, and it sounds amazing. So, where do you see yourself in ten years' time? In ten years' time, I see myself as um, a graduate of Bachelor of Music major in voice and performance because. Um, Today, uh, during this um, midst time of pandemic, I continued my studies and um, yeah, in 10 years I graduated uh, as a conservatory of music and I also, uh, I am dreaming of having my own animal sanctuary here in the Philippines and uh, because I really, um, one of my dreams is to be a veterinarian someday because I really have a huge heart for animals. So in 10 years, hopefully, I have my own animal sanctuary and um, my dreams for my family, uh, it will be all um, fulfilled already, hopefully. And uh, by God's will, my music career with RJ Productions, of course, my management right now, will be um, a blast because we are really, really looking forward for this pandemic to be over because we can't wait to like go uh, travel the world to say our thanks face to face to all the people who are su who, uh, who supported us and who are still supporting us even we are now experiencing some um, struggles 
because of this COVID-19 pandemic. So yeah, in 10 years time, that will be Alisa. Oh, lovely. It sounds like those are some amazing dreams to have. I love the animal sanctuary one. I think that's an amazing idea. So yeah, fingers crossed it all goes well for you. So earlier on, we were talking about what it was like auditioning to be on The X Factor, but what was it actually like being on TV and being on The X Factor? Being on The X Factor is uh, really, really, I don't know how to say it, but um, when I started my journey in X Factor UK, I, um, I always pray that I go through because everyone else, it's, uh, it's the same dream to be in that show. And um, I don't know, it's, it's really surreal. And uh, I felt really lucky to be one of the um, competitors on that competition and um, I, uh, I I have a they gave me a bonus for being the top 11 overall so it's really really overwhelming and um, with the support I am really happy because the support there in United Kingdom the British people are amazing I just don't know how to say it but I'm really really grateful for all the experiences and I can't wait to be back there in UK to, to you know, like um, share my music and hopefully um, see my things also face to face. Yeah, definitely. They sound like some great plans and the X Factor sounded incredible. So what's been the best moment in your career? Best moment in my career is X Factor. Actually, it's X Factor because after my X Factor competition, everything in my life changed and uh, I can say it with uh, I can't go on live without makeup because it's like after X Factor everyone is um, looking up to me and it's really really overwhelming that even now even uh, after four years I think after four years of my X Factor journey um, I, I am still receiving messages that um, I am inspiring them and uh, they are saying their thanks because of the fight that I gave that I gave on that competition and yeah X Factor really really um, made a lot of improvement in my life and I'm really grateful for that and uh, thankful to God. The X Factor sounds incredible and it's amazing that you got to do that. So I have one more question for you and this question is, what are your plans for your career for the rest of 2021? Regarding with the plans, um, with RJ Productions, actually they have a lot of um, music in store for me because we are still, um, what you call this, we are still um, looking for uh, this uh, the different faces of my voice and um, we are really uh, I don't know what what's the term for that but uh, yeah I have a lot of singles music upcoming under RJ productions and uh, hopefully hopefully this pandemic will be over really really soon because um, I, I still need to uh, I know that I still need to improve myself um, in regards with uh, dancing and performing and yeah uh, that's one of the plans um, hopefully after this pandemic I will be able to perform even better because I am um, studying uh, dance well you sound like you've got lots of plans ahead of you which is fantastic and i can't wait to see them all happen so we have came to the end of the interview now and it's been fantastic finding out about yourself and your career so thank you so much for taking the time to do this thank you so much and uh, i'm really really grateful that you um, gave me this opportunity to, um, to of course promote myself and my music and um, yeah thank you very much to all of your viewers and I hope you guys can support me on my uh, social media platforms and also my songs under RJ Productions. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, everybody go and follow her on social media. So yeah, thank you again. And also thank you to everybody who watched this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye, guys.